Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the first function we have here, 3 and then 1 minus 2x to the negative first power, that's really the function f of x equals 3 over 1 minus 2x. Because if you recall, raising a quantity to the negative first power places it in the denominator. It takes the reciprocal of it. And g of x is x to the negative 1. So a better way to write that, make this an and, g of x is equal to 1 over x. Okay, so the first thing I did here was rewrote our function without negative exponents. Now, the first thing we're asked to find is f composed with g of x. Okay? The way you do composition, x first goes into g, so we find g of x first, and that answer goes into f. So you leave f alone for a minute, g of x is 1 over x. Now what happens, this becomes the input into function f. 1 over x is getting fed to function f. Well here's what function f does. It puts 3 on the top, It puts a 1 on the bottom, it puts a minus on the bottom, it puts a 2 on the bottom, and then this x, whatever this x is, is a dummy placeholder for input, and the input is 1 over x. So, we have 3 on the top in the numerator, we have 1 minus and 2 times 1 over x, think of this as 2 over 1. 2 over 1 times 1 over x, nothing, can, nothing cross cancels, so we just have 2 over x. Now, the reason you can't leave your answer this way, back in Math 1033 you learned how to deal with something called complex fractions. Well, a complex fraction is a fraction where you have a fraction within a fraction. And the easiest way to me to handle that complex fraction is to look at each of the pieces of it and find the LCD. Well this denominator is 3 over 1, it's a 1, this is a 1, this is an X. So your LCD would be X. So what you do is you multiply each part of it through by the LCD. So we go times x, times x, and times x. In the numerator, we have 3 over x, I mean 3 times x. In the denominator, x times 1 is x, minus these 2's cancel, or the x's cancel rather, leaving me with 2. And I have my answer. 3x over x minus 2. Okay? So it's kind of cool the way that works. I took the fraction, the complex fraction, I found the LCD, which was x, and I multiplied by x three times. This is to the top and to both parts of the bottom. On the top, 3 times x was 3x. In the denominator, x times 1 is x. These x's cancel, leaving me with 2, so in the denominator I have x minus 2. That is my final answer. Okay, now, next question. Find g composed with f of x. Well, I take x and I put it into f this time, and then I use function g. So, I don't use g to start, I start with f of x. 
f of x is 3 over 1 minus 2x. So, I take this quantity as one item and I put it into G. Well, look what G does. G takes 1 divided by whatever I'm putting in. 1 divided by whatever I'm putting in. And that would be 3 over 1 minus 2x. So see how that op see how that helps see what we did there. G is one divided by the input. One divided by the input. Now I have a complex fraction, and I look for the LCD, which in this case would be one minus two x, and I multiply the top by it. and I also multiply the bottom by it. On top, 1 times 1 minus 2x is 1 minus 2x. In the denominator, the 1 minus 2x cancels, and we're left with 3. And that is my answer. So the most important thing about this problem was remembering back from Math 1033 or whatever course you're coming to me from. If you're in 1105, you tested into it or you took the prerequisite, is remembering how to work with complex fractions. And we are done.